Good morning, everyone. Let's see. That way. Huh. I was wondering what happened to my plants. But it was just the game catching up. So today is going to be the day. Let's speed everybody up. Today is going to be the day where I dig up everything. Um. Probably not gonna record everything. I started on the left side last episode. We did all this, except for this bit. And because I got distracted by this uh, leaky oil fissure here, which is producing some nice free oil. It'll also give me a place to gather uh, some of the other oil that's still around on the map, like this. I'll probably pump all of that in there, maybe. Uh, all the polluted water is going to go in here to feed the thimble reeds. Although I do have almost 3,000 reed fibers right now. But since I've got plenty of polluted water, I've got the cool slush geyser over here. And I've got this guy over there. I'm not worried about saving all this. What I do want to save is this little slime biome here. I had a, wait, hang on, is this on a floor, that might be nice, right, hmm, have to put it on there, sure, um, I want to keep this little slime biome, just because I can, because it's nice and it's included with this one. And also, what I thought of was, maybe, if possible, I can capture the puffs that are still around and keep those in here. Make it a little puffed sanctuary, if you will. What I will need, though, is a liquid lock. To make sure all the slimy oxygen and all the uh, slime lung doesn't escape. So let's prioritize this. Uh, deconstruct that one. I'll have to put in a bottle emptier right there. Hey, Lens. Hi there, champion. Uh. Extra tile in there. Yes, I'll do the same thing I did with the uh, Nico oil fisher. I do a simple one with two beads on either side. I'll make a little vacuum in there, even though it doesn't matter because there's not really going to be a problem with heat. Might be good to keep it in here. I'll have to put in a little creature drop-off somewhere. Ooh, let's wait for the new cycle. Alright, so let's do auto bottle on that one, priority nine. Oh, no, not all of them, just the oil, you dummy. <laughs> that would have been silly. So, liquid lock in here, and then I'll put in a ladder. Don't want to do granite, though. I don't think we need that in here, do we? So, maybe a ladder like this. And then I can open up this little bit here so we can get to that fish. Once he gets, uh, you know, he drops an egg, we can put that in there. And we can open this up so we can put in that tile, close that off. Okay. Um, how much oil is this? Not really a lot. I'd like some more, please. Grams is not going to work. Or is it? No, a bit more would be nice. Hey there. Somebody's picking up lettuce. So yeah, 
I'm gonna do that uh, for all the fishies, the pakus. Ah, there you go. That's much better. Kilos. Disable. Whoop. Deconstruct it. And now I will have to deconstruct that one. I will mop up the rest. We'll have a nice little bead. Let's start over here. And I guess do that one. Anyway, like I said, I was gonna do a lot of digging and I already got distracted doing this. I'm gonna do it. I'm just probably not gonna show it all to you. There's the captain. Thank you, captain. You little champion, you. He's gonna get some strong arm muscles. Okay, put that tile back in there. Good. Once I take this out, I can mop up this little bit. All right, let's leave them to it. Uh, yeah, so all this oil I'm gonna gather in here probably. The polluted water is gonna go into that tank to feed my thimble reeds even though I have 3,000-ish of them. All the pakus are gonna go in here into the kitchen. Give me some free food. And then I'm gonna start my work Oh, top, I guess, and I'll work my way down. Let's see. So, there you go, beautiful. We got two beads here. One there, one there. Oh, new cycle. It's colorful, isn't it? Uh. <clears throat> I've got a bit of a cold. It's really messing up my voice. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Sorry about that. Thank you, Lens. Um, what? Might as well make it a vacuum, right? Good stuff. Now you can take these out, both of them. We'll have two drops of oil and a vacuum in between, which will seal off this room very nicely. Okay, and then we'll do move debris. Clean all the stuff out of here. What's this? Oh, I'll pick up that Yoya seed later. There you go, vacuum. Two bits of oil. I used oil here because this is probably a little bit of a hot surroundings and I don't want to have problems with water evaporating. All right. This is getting done. Uh, anything else? Things like, yeah, I'm just going to put like, where are we? Liquid pumps. One in there. Let's just run a line all the way down here. This is still, yeah, that's still a vent, so let's see. Let's grab this, and then we'll go all the way up here. A little bit of room to jump across these pipes. We'll go in. I guess we're going this way. Like so. What's in here? Ew. Slime. Oh. Slime. Did I not have a place to put slime? Is that you? What's in here? Oxlite. Hmm. Didn't think of that. Um. Oops. Where am I going to 
keep the slime. Didn't I have... Bleach stone goes in there. Hmm. The printables, no thank you. No thank you. You're very sweet, but I'm good. Um... I didn't think of that. We'll wait for the new cycle, I guess. Even though it's a long way away. I'm gonna open this up somewhere anyway. Maybe just keep it in here, right? I mean, there's gonna be slime in here anyway. Uh, oops, storage bins. Let's put a couple of storage bins in there. Move all the slime in here. Good plan, good plan. We'll do that. Um, yeah, so where was I? That's what I'm gonna do. Bombs, uh, I gotta grab some power somewhere, of course. Liquid bridge. Um, let's use igneous. There you go, that's what I'm gonna do with all of these. I'm just gonna gather all the water in one big pool, put in a pump, bump it down into there, clean that up. I'm gonna dig up all this stuff. Um, the slime is gonna go down in here. I think it's, yeah, it's the perfect place to put a slime storage, isn't it? I think so. I mean, that's 60 tons there already. Well, I'd be a little bit far away, but that's fine. We'll get there. And we'll have this closed off. We'll have a nice little section over here with two natural biomes. And then I'm going to rip out all the rest of the stuff. So, uh, you know what this looks like, right? Me putting in ladders, digging up stuff. I'm going to start doing that. If something interesting happens, I'll, uh, I'll record it and put it in. Uh... If it, you know, if it doesn't, then I won't, you won't see it, and I'll show you once I made some progress, if something happens, and we'll finally start clearing all this stuff out, right? Let's see in a bit. It seems we are having a problem again with this thing uh, conducting heat even when it's open. I closed it using the thermal sensors, but I think I tried looking it up and I think the problem might be that it keeps opening and closing and once it does that too quickly, it doesn't register as a vacuum anymore. So what I think I'm going to have to do here is some automation. It's called, what's it called? A filter gate. Where's the buffer gate? Um, no, filter gate. So, let's see. These ones have to, I want it to close, right? So I want a red signal when it needs heat. But it has to be for a certain amount of time. So I have to put in a not gate as well. I'm pausing here. Let's see, probably can fix this from the inside, right? So. Hang on, maybe put it on this side. And then a knot gate. Like so. So, let's see. We want a red signal for more than five seconds. And then it should close the door and start transferring heat. So, uh, did I make these? No, 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 no. Do they have an overheat temperature though? 
copper plus 50. I'm gonna make him out of steel because I don't want to deal with this stuff again. Uh, filter gate like that. Why are you picking? That one again. Come on. Steel. And then we'll do automation wire. Steel. Let's see. Put that in there. Um, let's see. Deconstruct that one. So we'll get a red signal if the temperature is too low, which will be turned into a green signal. Am I doing this right? Only lets a green signal through if the input has received a green signal for longer than the selected filter time. Um, do I need the not gate in here, really? It should work both ways, right? Let's just put one in here and see what happens. Oh, let's wait for the new cycle. This is a new thing to me, right? I'm not that smart. So, and I can, I've still got the liquid lock in here, so I can get in here and do this stuff. Rizlins, coming to save the day. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, so steel. Do that, and we'll do an automation wire like so, and like so. The highest priority. Oh no, this is now heating up. Come on, come on. Come on, please. Oh. Look at the temperature shooting up. Who's on this? Liam? Come on, Liam. You look at him go. All right. I think we should be good. Um, Still is cooling down. This is cooling down now. Okay, so let's check the automation. Um, this will only open a door once it's been hot for a while. Anyway, this should prevent this thing from opening and closing. And heating up everything in here. This team is at 240, you know what, um, just sweep that out of there, we'll close it, and we'll see if we have this problem again, because that's not good. Also, um, where are they? Da -da -da -da. These conduction panels, we have these now, which means next time I won't have to use a layer of oil, the bottom right there, I can use, use these, right? Put those in there, like so, behind the buildings. Cool them down, but since this thing is already done, I won't need to do that. Okay, we struck the that out of there. Sweep this. So, no distraction there. My dupes are still working over here. And I've started queuing up some digging commands, but I got the alert, so I figured might as well show you guys what's going on here. Temperature wise, we're 215. This is now a vacuum, as you can see in the bottom there. So we should be good for quite some time, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna close this. Uh, boom, boom. And then this should keep working, hopefully without problems now. Okay, I'm gonna continue doing this stuff. 
Oh, wait, hang on, wait for the new cycle, of course. I now have storage for slime right here. As you can see, they're delivering lots of it, so I might just put a couple extra bins in here, because we're going to have a lot more slime. I mean, I know it doesn't look natural, but this this is like the best place to put it, really. Yeah, so I got my slime storage. I took all the slime out of this one. 20 tons of that in there, so they're gone. All right, that's it. I'll keep going, and I'll send you. I'll see you when I've made some more progress. All right. Thank you. Very well done. All right. It's me again, of course. Uh, I forgot all about this water geyser up here, all the way in the top. It was hiding away because I'd buried it underneath my little walkway here. Now I'm thinking. Um. I should put a great big water tank right there. That's free water because, let's see, I have one, two, three oil reservoirs right there underneath. And I have this cooling loop that I'm using for my oxygen production. That's not doing a whole lot at the moment, as you can see. So I could expand this and uh, have it help with uh, the gold volcano over here and also with my petroleum production right there. So that's my plan. Uh, what I need to do now, uh, let me pause here for a second. I've started putting in an insulated uh, layer of insulated tiles up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should probably do another layer of these, right? Uh, not you. So, uh, granite, 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 granite. So, how deep do I want this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably around there, so they can reach it. So we'll do that. I'll close it right there. There you go, and then we'll have, <clears throat> I'll probably open that up so that I can get in. Um, like so, I think. Sure, we'll use sandstone, why not? Uh, have a ladder right there. I don't need one on this side, do I? No. Okay, then we can get started on that. Um, I want him to finish the bottom layer first, though. So that I can open up that thing and I can have it analyzed because it's dormant right now. <clears throat> and if it stops being dormant, I'll catch the water in here. Also, I'll need... This was in... Yeah. It's 95 degrees, so we can use a gold amalgam pump. Put that right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Not right there. Oh, I'm going to get a new cycle here. Come on. Right there. Uh, the power line. Let's see. Let's use gold. I'll run that all the way up here. And plumbing, I suppose, will do as well. Insulated pipe. There's no need, really, but... Sure. Why not? Let's be fancy. Okay. So. I'll have this. And then once I get down here, which will be 
There'll be some time before I get down there. I'll have a little bit of water in here and I can pump that into my oil refineries or pumps. What are they called? I forget. Oil wells. There you go. Liquid intake pipe. So they take water and they take out the oil. Good. Look at you go. Um, we'll close that off and we'll grab the ladder. Put that up there. Yeah, so that's the plan. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to sweep it out. We'll have a nice water tank in here. And water ready to go to do the petroleum thingy once I'm ready for it. Um, this is done now. I've got the insulated tiles are on the outside. It's all closed. I'm gathering lots of slime down here. I've taken out the fish eggs. So the two Pakus have gone. I haven't found any puffed yet. I think there might only be one or two left if I'm lucky. There's one. He's happy. A puff prince. So once I open this up, I'll just put in another critter drop off. Set it to auto wrangle everything. And then usually the dupes will be able to wrangle flying critters. Because uh, it'll call them. So you don't need to use the traps. I don't know. What are they called? Uh, airborne critter bait. I, you can do it without those. But it will be quite some time before I get down here. Right? So that's done for now. And I'm working on this. So I'll see you in a bit when I've done some more digging. Okay. I'm back again. Uh, all the water up here... I've now taken out. There's just a little bit of mopping to be done. And this whole area will be cleared. I've put in some deodorizers just to take care of the polluted oxygen in here, as well as all these germs. I still have a liquid lock in here, so let's clean the oxygen. Maybe I should put an extra one in down here, right? Sure. There's a power line down there anyway. We can deconstruct this pump. So, this is being cleaned. Eventually, all the slime lung will be gone and I can open this up. In the meantime, I've been opening uh, this slime biome. I had been there already because I had a little liquid lock right here. So, what I did is I put a ladder all the way down. Oh! We got a fry egg. Uh, of course, we got a new cycle as well. Yes. Thank you. Let's sweep that up. Priority nine. Thank you, there, little tropical Paku. I've been collecting the eggs, of course, in the tank here. So we're getting more free food. Uh, the pump's in here already. Let's see. So that's hooked up. Um. All I need to do now is connect these two. I'm gonna start taking out this water. Now that I've got the Paku out of here, this guy, he's got about four cycles to live, so he'll survive in his little water tank there. Then I open up a little hallway through here into this slime biome. Now we're going to have a little experiment because I have a puffed in here. So if I set this to auto wrangle surplus, let's make that priority eight. Set this to all critters, maximum zero. That means my dupes should wrangle all the critters in here, get them out. Well, normally you need a trap for these flying thingies. Oh wait. Uh, before I do that, I have to make sure they are able to get down here, don't I? Um, let's have them build, because if they wrangle this puff and it drops down, they can't reach it. And that would be silly. 
So let's hope they still do that, right? They say, you don't belong in here. We wrangle it, and then they'll put it, hopefully, down here, where I've put a critter drop-off set to all the puffs. So that's an experiment. It used to work. Let's see if it still does. Uh, they're still building the ladders, though. Also, I finished this great big tank up here. There's still some oxygen in here. Eventually, uh, once it starts filling with water, the pressure will, pressure will get high, but it'll just take out this tile, allow it to escape. they will give me some pretty hot oxygen, but I can deal with that. That's no problem. And this one... Let's see, next activity, 15 cycles. It gives me two and a half uh, liters or kilos of water. And I think one oil well takes one. So I can run two and a half oil wells of this. So I'm thinking I've got these two right here right below it, so I could do oil wells on these two. I have a big oil tank down here. Well, I have to stay away from this guy, of course. Uh, yeah, I'll put in a tank right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll figure something out uh, with the refineries. Yes. Or refineries, that's right. Oil wells get the oil out, put them through a refinery. I'll have petroleum and I'll pump that up maybe here. Have it ready to be uh, used for rockets and maybe eventually for power as well, but we'll see about that. And I've got the cooling loop here, of course, to help me with it, but we're not that far. Okay, ladders are in. Where'd that puff go? Did he escape? Did he die? Tell me he didn't die. Oh, wait. They wrangled him already. Okay. So I guess it still works. Beautiful. Idle, wild, and happy. So now I have a reservation for all my puffs. Also, I have to put in a lot more storage bins here because, of course, I'm going to be digging out all this stuff, which means lots and lots of slime. And I have to put that somewhere, because, you know, you never know. I might need it. All right, so I'm going to empty this out. I'm going to pump out all the water into this guy. As you can see, I'm gathering quite a lot down here. and I'm going to keep digging this up. And when something interesting happens, I'll show you guys. There she goes. Erupts in eight, nine, mini, mini, mini. Now, there we go. First water. It's gonna be hot. And you're boiling, 94. But, from now on, we can start collecting this water in here. Beautiful. We've got 80 cycles to go before she goes dormant, which is good. Uh, I've been busy. I'll show you. Uh, this was all polluted water. I've pumped it out. I put in a lot of deodorizers to clean up the oxygen. And as you can see, it's killing off the slime lung slowly but surely. And we'll get this cleaned up. I've started uh, pumping out this side as well and cleaning up the oxygen which means, yeah, a couple of thousand germs per tile, but not a lot. So I'm trying to clean as much of the oxygen uh, before I open this stuff up, because I can do it and have it float all over the place. There's a little bit in here as well. I'm not too worried about that, but uh, I'd like to do that before I open all this up, just get rid of it. Um, I've been digging some stuff over here as well as over here. This is all opened up now. I've taken out the oil. I went all the way around and dumped
dumped that into here, which is going along very nicely. Temperatures are at 60 degrees down here, a little below 70, which is good. Um, this is also starting to cool down, but this steam vent is dormant now. So it's a little bit hot over here, but this is cooling down nicely to 30 something degrees, as well as the hatch farm. As you can see, these tiles are starting to cool down now. It's not really a problem. They can survive, but it'd be nice to have it around 30 degrees somewhere. So that's what I've been doing. This is now almost done. I'll need to mop up some of this stuff right here. And then I can take all this stuff out. That'll mean the left side is now completely done. Um, I have to dig this still, and I'm working on cleaning this as well. But there's still a little bit of polluted oxygen in there. So I'm gonna wait until all the slime lung has died. It's going down. 50,000. 180,000. There's a lot in here still. We're getting to it. Uh, once this is all clean and empty, I'll start taking out these layers, collecting the oil in here and then here, and digging all this stuff out. Working my way down, but yeah. It's all the progress I've made so far. Uh, I just wanted to show you the water geyser erupting and water geyser erupting jeez i can't even talk the cold's got my head all filled up with stuff except thoughts anyway i'm making progress slowly but surely i'm making progress we're getting there anyway i'll see you when more stuff has happened thank you me mom Okay, so we had a slight emergency here, only a small one. Um, remember, I put in the liquid lock with the two little beads of oil to keep all the slime lung in here, and the polluted oxygen. So, all the polluted water has been off-gassing, and the pressure in here has gotten so high, it's like, well, it's at five kilos an hour, but it was, uh, the pressure was high enough to push one of the beads here over to the side. So there was only a tiny little bead of oil left here to keep all the polluted oxygen in here, because it was only like a couple hundred of grams. It wasn't very much. So I had to put in a proper liquid lock, which is what I'm doing right now. So now it's closed, I'm gonna put a bunch of oil in here, just so I don't have to deal with it again. It's a shame, a little bit uh, less natural tiles in here, but it's okay. My puff is still happy, he laid an egg, we're gonna get a pufflet prince, there you go. Will take a while. Uh, let me sweep up some stuff here, see if I can update you a little bit more. So this is being done. I've been digging up here. All the slime is pretty much gone. Yeah, a little bit of slime lung, maybe one or two, but I'm not too worried about that. Once I start uh, filling all this stuff up with oxygen, all the slime lung will probably die off. It's not really a problem. There's some in the, uh, the carbon dioxide here, but I'm not too worried. Something's off-gassing. That's the bottles of polluted oxygen. That's it. Um, yeah, they've been hacking away. Uh, I've slowly been opening up all this stuff as well. Uh, I took out a bunch of hatches on this side. There's still a million roaming around. But they're just eating my stuff. Oh yeah, and I've been closing off some of the bits of the map I won't be using anymore. So, let's say, put in a wall here. Since this is here, 
I'm not going to be running any pipes or lines through this, right? So I'm just filling this in with igneous rock, making it nice and tidy. I'm going to do the same down here, probably. Just close off bits of the map that I'm probably not going to run anything through. So this bit, I may have to uh, change where I keep the bleach stone because it's in a bit of an awkward place. And I kind of want to run a proper corridor over here. So I'll probably move that down or somewhere else. I haven't decided yet. So yeah, we'll zoom out so you can see the side. Yeah, this is all cleaned up now. I'm filling this in. And well, now that all the polluted water is out, I can finally start digging up all this stuff. Hang on. No wonder they're not doing anything over there. Here we go. Make sure they have ladders. Also, I queued up a lot of dig commands down here. I'm gonna have all this oil drop down in here. I thought I put a pump in there, but no pipes yet. So I'll get a pipe, run that out, and probably run it down here and into the tank right there. So that's what I've been doing. Lots of stuff, a lot more things to do before I'm done. Um, but I just wanted to get it done in one great big dig uh, effort, you know, put it in one video. Uh, water is starting to fill up quite nicely here. We've got our first layer of full tiles already. The other one's at half. I don't know what's going on here with the oxygen. It's a tiny little bit. Uh, it might delete itself. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, I'll just go in there and put a block there. And delete it. Okay, so that's what's going on. Um, I'll keep doing what I'm doing, and I'll see you once I've dig out some more of the map, all right? A whole lot of digging has been going on, as you can see. This whole section of the map has been emptied out. Uh, I've opened these oil reservoirs here. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, a lot of water is already being gathered here in the tank. We still have 39 cycles before she goes dormant, so we'll have plenty of water to use with these once I get around to it. Um, started digging up all this stuff down here well I queued up the dig commands so I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna drop all this oil down here put a little pump in and then pump that oil out put it back in this tank this is where I've been gathering all the um, wild and happy oil let's say that I found around the map this side is pretty much done here well it was already pretty much done wasn't it and putting in some tiles oops there you go closing this bit off see temperatures are looking pretty cool 26 the sandstone is starting to go down so looking pretty that was the idea as well as these tiles are now in the lower 60s they were somewhere around upper 60s close to 70 so cooling loops doing its job got a ton of water gathering here that's also good i still need to figure out what i'm gonna do with this and this i have pools of liquid all over the map there's one as well i'll figure that out once i'm done digging um Let's wait for the new cycle. So, uh, dig this out, get all the oil out, then I'm gonna dig up all this stuff right here. And I'll continue on downwards. Something I want to do is I'm gonna have to sweep this stuff up so I have a layer of stuff around here and here because this is all closed. So, I wanna set up kind of a 
system with the dispensers like I have down here. I'm just going to put it close to the base up here. So it's kind of in the middle of the map, right? And then uh, sweep all this stuff that's from the top half of the map. This stuff too, drop it down there. Maybe drop some up here. Um, but I'll do that once I've done digging because this is really, really a lot of work. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Slowly but surely, you have a new puffed here. Came out of the egg, it's a puffed prince. Hello, our little prince. He's doing all right. Pressure is somewhat stabilized. The water is no longer off gassing. As you can see, I got like five storage bins full of slime already. And there's a lot more to come from down here. But we haven't gotten down here yet. We'll uh, work top down. So yeah, that's what it looks like now. This is pretty much empty. And this side is empty. So just this corner to do. So I'll get back to it and... Well, we'll see you in a while when I've done some more digging. All right, I'm back again. It's time for a little update. I've been doing a lot of digging. Let's see. This side, this is all dug out now. Uh, not cleaned up yet. Uh, I've started digging some stuff over here. Also been filling in some stuff over here. What I did do was, I have this pool of water here, and I was pumping it out. And it's going all the way around, and I was going to put it in my storage tank inside my base, right there. But then I realized, I've got this equipment here. I'm not really using it for anything, am I, at the moment. So if I put all that water in here, it's just going to flood all this stuff. So, what I was thinking, oh, hang on, wait for a new cycle. This right here, this is my oxygen production setup, and this is now dormant. I've got this water tank over here, and I've cleaned up all the stuff that's in here, except for this, apparently. Let's do that real quick. Uh, sure. Let's do sandstone. I think that might be closer. I think it might be time to expand this tank all the way over here and then give me some room to dump all that water in there as well. Um, this thing is not doing anything. So let's take that out as well as these wires they can all go thank you Liam this ladder can go so all I have to do is move this wall do I want to move this wall? yeah just move it over to the left here Let's make that a higher priority, children. Get all this stuff out of the way, put a wall in. Uh, I'm guessing sandstone will be alright. As long as the bottom is igneous, let's see. Oh, hang on. Uh, not that one, that's not needed. What's this? The wire? Oh, strange. Take out that wire, please. Thank you. So, let's grab this sandstone. Put that in there. I'll open this up. I'll have to sweep this as well. So, I'll open up this wall here. This is all igneous rock, right? Right. I'll expand this over here. Let's make that priority seven like so. I'll leave a little bit of a gap so I can sweep all this stuff. 
Get that out of there. Yes, and on all I need to do is get a liquid vent. Make it out of gold. Put that there for now. Now I have the pipe going all the way up here. This one's going down into my base, so let's see, is this pipe doing anything? It's not doing anything at the moment, is it? No, that was for the steam thing. So, um, I put in a liquid bridge right there, and now we'll put in a pipe like so. That should prioritize that direction. All I have to do is... Oh wait, I can take all this stuff out as well, can't I? Look at all this mess. It's all leftovers from the steam rocket experiment thingy. Take that one out, take these out. This is probably gonna mess up my whole setup. Keep an eye on it. Oh, somebody's sparkling. Thank you, Linz. See if I don't deconstruct something essential here. My bathroom setup. This is all good. Take out the bridge. That pipe can go. Okay, I'll leave that pipe in. So, um, let's see. We'll have to hook up this one to that one. We'll go all the way up here. Drop the water in there. I can just open this up and I will have a big water tank and everybody will be happy and everything will be hunky-dory and sunshiny and thingy. Alright. Let's see. Um, we're still sweeping. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll expand this, make it a big tank. I don't know where I'm gonna leave the entrance if I want one. Probably here, because I have a ladder, right? I'll put a ladder in there, close that up, make sure my dupes can get in and out. Sweep up all this crap that's down here. Because since I have suits, I don't have to worry about this anymore. I just want to keep the heat uh, in here as much as I can. Oh, here comes the water roll. There you go. So that'll get filled up with um this. I can empty that out. Yeah. So, also, look at all this oil I've been gathering already. I haven't even started with the oil wells yet. <clears throat> this is all just stuff from the oil fisher and the stuff I've been pumping out of these oil biomes. I've still got this one here, which has a lot of oil in it. Well, maybe not so much. But plenty. So by the time I'm done digging all this stuff out, I've got a whole ton of oil here I can start turning into petrol later on. So anyway, there you go. That's what I've been doing. I'll zoom out so you can see where we're at. Uh, this is going to stay. So all I have to do is this corner. Dig all that out. Make sure I get everything where I want it. We got a big tank of water ready here. For one, uh, we want to use the uh, the oil reservoirs. We've still got sixteen cycles to go, so we're doing good. We're doing just fine. Anyway, I'll see you in a couple of cycles. Thank you. You have done very well. Uh, sweep that as well, if you can. Oh, I still haven't moved that storage, have I? Eh, there's still a bit of room in there. Anyway, it's update time. I've been digging down, as you can see. We did all this. I've opened this up. I've dug out this oil biome here, and I'm pumping out... Oh! I'm actually already done pumping out the oil... Uh, to the storage here, as you can see, I put in a 
bottle emptier at a pitcher pump in case I need to dump or get some oil for, let's see, liquid locks. Um, I've disabled that pitcher pump though, because I've got lots of crude oil lying around. I don't want a, a liquid lock here. So I can open up this slime biome. As you can see, it is enormous. I'm going to dig it up and I'm going to drain all the water all the way down here so I don't have to put in several pumps. I can just do the whole thing at once. Also, look at that. Natural gas geyser. I didn't think I had one on this map. That means more energy and perhaps um, better cooking. And start using the gas range as well, but I'll have to analyze it and block it off, put a pump in there. We're not there yet. Um, let's see, yeah, this is all done now. So I can open this up. I'm gonna leave this pump in here for now. So my dupes can keep sweeping up all the bottles of oil into this liquid lock, and now I can just pop it open, drop it down. Eh, that might be... A little bit difficult. Maybe I should take it out. Anyway, I'll think of that. First priority is to get in here, dig up all the slimies, block this off. There's also a lot of paku in here. A lot of fishies. They're all going into the kitchen. Also, some puffs. So my lonely little puffed over here will have a friend or two to play with. That's nice. Anything else? Um... Yes, the water over here is now gone. There's little bits I had left. Ah, yes, there you go. Here's the tank. It's finished. I did put in some igneous rock, because, yeah. I just want to have it uniform. I also opened this door, because the pressure in here was like six kilos per tile, which is a lot. Too much. So, oh, new cycle, please. Yeah, because this was blocked off in the, with the liquid lock, the door, and this door. So there's a lot of pressure building up. I'm releasing it slowly into the uh, rest of the space here. This thing is still going. Oh, it's going dormant. Zero seconds. How's that for timing? So, 60 cycles. This is one active period. I haven't used any of this. Look at that. That is awesome. Free water right there. Anyway, lots of stuff. This is all done. Yeah, I'm making lots of progress here. Next thing is the whole slime biome thing. Pump out all the water into this tank. Get the slime into my storage. Get the fish into the kitchen. Uh, it looks like my liquid lock is pretty much done here. I'll just have them pick up some more bottles just to get them here. All right, um, be back with you once I've made some progress on this bit. Thank you, Captain. All right, this is now all swept out. Very good, that means we can close it off like so. I decided to quickly dig down from up here to the natural gas geyser right there and analyze it. It's going to be active in 22 cycles. So what I did, I dug this out and I built uh, insulated tiles around it, obsidian, because it erupts at 150 degrees. I put in a steel pump and some steel wires here just in case, because I don't want to open it up again. This is now closed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the gold wire here. Hook it up to that one. This pump is now going to vacuum this whole thing out. That should be possible in about 22 cycles. After that, I'm going to disable the pump. And then uh, once this gas geyser erupts, all that's going to be in here is natural gas, which means everything's hooked up for me to 
get a pipe out of here and lead it to wherever I want to put the gas, right? I'm not going to be leaking any gas or heat into the environment. All I have to do is hook up a gas pipe and some electricity. I'm going to disconnect it once this is a vacuum again. That's all set up. Uh, probably, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some of it probably to use the gas range. But once I start using the oil refineries, where are they? They put out natural gas as well as petroleum. So I'm going to have more than enough natural gas. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just keep this one to uh, power the gas range for now. That's a, for a future project. Let's see. Oh, it's almost empty already. Micrograms. Yeah, it's almost done. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm digging this out, of course. I've been putting in some ladders. I'll put in the dig commands later. Why is this? Uh, exchange this wire for gold. That should probably be all right. Or not. Maybe you should make that out of steel. Just in case, look at that, it's almost empty already. So, um, we got a vacuum. We have achieved a vacuum, beautiful. Oh, exactly at the point of a new cycle. There we go. Okay, I'll replace this. I'll take out uh, this wire. And then this is ready to be used later on. Because today is going to be all about digging all this stuff out. There we go. We got a steel wire in there, a little bit of steel I want them to sweep up. Anyway, I'm going to continue digging, grabbing all the stuff, and I'll see you in a while once this is all dug out. Oh, also, I found another cool steam vent. I should probably put some tiles around this as well. I'll go do that. Thank you. There's one buddy bud. Thank you, Gossman. Okay, I found some zombie spores down here in my slime storage, which is not good. Um, there's probably some slime lung in here, but that dies when it reaches oxygen. However, zombie spores, I'm not so sure. And this is carbon dioxide. So, there's no way I can turn this into clean oxygen and kill the germs that way. So my plan is, plant a couple of these. See if they're idle. Why are they idle? and that doesn't work, huh? Because of the zombie spores then? Well, I'm not sure what to do with this. Okay. Might be going down, 35. I'll just leave them in here for a while. We'll see what happens. I mean, they're in suits, all my dupes, so it shouldn't be a problem. But just in case, I'd like to get rid of them. Can't hurt, right? Uh, also, what else was I doing? Yeah, still digging down here. Getting everything to flow down over here so I can pump it out. Do we have some Paku eggs? We have lots of them. Oh. There's one. I missed one. Let's get all these Pakus. Five, six, seven. Sweep errand. And that one's already ready for sweeping. So I'm getting all the Pakus out of here. Into the kitchen. Right there. See, the tank's filling up quite nicely. 
They're overcrowded, but they're not cramped because the room, this is open. So the room is like 700 tiles. So they're never ever gonna be cramped, which means they're still gonna be laying eggs without me having to do anything. And that's free food. Also, I remember they had the spice grinder and I dug up lots of salt. There you go. So I'm using freshener spice on all my meals which means they last longer. So I'm now up to 350,000 calories. I mean, I did kill off a bunch of animals while I was digging, but that was nowhere near as many calories as that. So that's doing pretty well. Anyway, there's a little update. This doesn't look like it's working. Eh, we'll see. That's of no concern right now. Something I'm trying. Um, yeah, so we're getting close to getting this done. I've uncovered pretty much all of the map right now. This is slime, which is almost empty, which reminds me I have a little puffed here. So I should do a critter drop off right there and wrangle that guy or girl. Thank you, Linz. Auto wrangle surplus all. Priority eight. That should take care of that little fellow. And he should end up in here together with his friends. Very good. Anything else? I boxed in a little bit of water in here. That was left from the cool steam vent box this in as well so this doesn't mix with all the polluted water makes life easier yeah we're getting close we're getting real close and uh, well we got a bunch of obsidian some poke shells over here and a bit more slime that's it this is all we have to do this bit and then I'm done look at that it's all empty ready for me to use anyway i'm gonna go back to doing this i want to finish it today it's been a really really long day but i just want to get this done now i'm started so i'll see you in a minute well it looks like my plan has worked uh, while i was digging up everything i stopped incubating hatches took those eggs out because i have 1300 tons of coal that's that's gonna last me forever because I'm not even using coal right now where where's my coal thingies these are just running the last 30 percent of the batteries and since I made a little adjustment with the filter gate here this thing has been running very nicely I haven't reloaded though, so I'll have to keep an eye on it uh, the next time I load in again. Uh, so I don't need to call anymore. Also, I've been collecting all the fishies. I think almost all of them are in my tank here now. I've got 464,000 kilocalories, especially since I started using the spice grinder over here. They'll last a lot longer, so I don't need the meat from the hatches anymore. So I've retired these. Uh, they pretty much just went extinct because I didn't incubate any more eggs. Ate the rest of them. We've got the wild ones, of course, in here. Right there. Uh, what I should do... Uh, they're not in here. Okay, that's good. That means... These will keep reproducing. I have a nice population of hatches in there. Should I ever need some? So I can take all this out. Um, I won't do it now. Because I'm thinking about doing new bedrooms. I might do them in here. Or I might do them in here. But since I've got like a hospital and my clothing room right there, my textile factory loom thingy, 
I may just want to do bedrooms over here. I have plenty of room for eight. Uh, maybe even nine. I have a spare bedroom, right? So I'll take that out and we, we can rebuild this. So just wanted you to know. Keep you up to date, right? Um, yeah, I've got all the... Almost all the fishies in here now. Hey. Oh, does he? he's wild. That's right. He escaped uh, when I was digging up here somewhere. He's still out and about. Uh, I've been digging this. Oh, it's all gone. I've got the pump in right there, which is pumping all the water up there. This is all dug out. I've got the pump ready. I'm not going to start pumping anything out of here until this is gone. So this is going to take a long time. I've put in a whole bunch of deodorizers to get all the polluted oxygen out of here and get rid of most of the slime lung because some of it has gotten out, as you can see. There was some polluted oxygen over here. And, well, my dupes are in suits, so it's not going to be a big issue, really, but I just want to get rid of it. So I'll put in some deodorizers here. I put in one right there, which they're not supplying. So I'm setting that to priority seven. Um, there's one. See, there's just a couple of layers of polluted oxygen I want to get rid of. It's not much. See, bit here, bit there. Oh, well, there's a little bit. It's got slime lung in it too. Okay, I'll put in a deodorizer there as well. Slowly but surely I'm cleaning up the map. Um, it's just gonna take a long time for all the, uh, the slime lung to get out of this place because it's really, really big. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit patient. Um, once that's all gone, I can dig up this bit, no problem. Just a little bit of salt water, which I can dump in here. And then the whole the map will be done. So, yep, that's what I'm doing now. Oh, this has started erupting. It's already overpressuring, so we've got five kilos of natural gas in here. It's all natural gas, nothing else. And also this one. I opened up a tile here with an airflow tile so the polluted oxygen that was in here could escape. So now there's just steam and water in here as well. So, slow progress, progress, sorry, it's been a long dig. <laughs> slow progress, but I'm getting there. I'm just wanna, I wanna get this done. I wanna do all of this in one video and then I can get back to doing other projects. It's been a long, long haul, but I'll get it done sooner or later. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you, Frankie. Beautiful. So, this is my second floor of poke shells. It's time for a little update. Um, I was waiting for all the slime lung to disappear from this enormous slime biome. Uh, it's gotten down to about 1,000, 1,500 germs. So I decided to just open it up. And they'll die soon enough from the oxygen. Uh, in the meantime, I have been uh, sweeping a lot of stuff. I put in some collection points like this one. I had one down here already. And I put one up here as well. This is near the, uh, the hatch enclosure. So I closed all this off. This is where the uh, bleach stone was. I dropped it down to here, so it has its own spot now. Um, <clears throat> so I have spots for the dupes uh, where they can collect stuff that they sweep. So it's like one on this floor, one on this floor, one down here. I'm gonna put one up here when I start cleaning this stuff up, just to have Everything spread out evenly across the map. I've got this at priority four. A lot of sweep commands. They've done a lot already, but in case they're idle, they've always got something to do. That's why I've still got the abyssalite in here. 
Because I kind of want this stuff to go up here. And I don't want everything to drop down. So, um, I've just opened this up. Took out the liquid lock. Um, now, digging this up. Uh, no more pork shells. I thought there might be, yeah. There's one. There were three in here. Um, are they up here now? There's just two. So what happened to the third one? Hmm. Okay. I don't see him anywhere. Could have just dropped him. I'll find him later. Or maybe he was just old and died. That's also a possibility. Did they just drop him somewhere inside the base? You're supposed to be there, aren't you? Um, yeah, you're okay. So, yeah. So far, so progress. Oh, yes, of course. These buddies bud seeds, they do work. See, I got floral scent, so I have just a tiny little bit of zombie spores in here because this is uh, natural gas. And I do believe... It's just slime lung. I thought I had some in here, so... Most of the zombie spores are gone. There's just a tiny little amount of them left in there, so that's not a problem. So this worked. I was pleasantly surprised. Okay, uh, so somebody's already back to sweeping. I'm gonna go back to digging this stuff up. It's only this bit. Let me zoom out here so you can see what I've done already. So, the entire upper section of the map has been dug out now. And this bit we already did, so I'm down to this last little bit down here. Gotta get rid of the salt water. I'm still pumping out the polluted water, and I still have to get rid of this bit. But, we'll get there surely. Uh, this is almost half full, but all this polluted water is going into my thimble reeds, so... What do you have now? Like 4,200, almost, yeah, 4,300 units of reed fire, but it's more than I'm probably ever gonna need. So, small update, stuff I've been doing. Oh yeah, and this, this was already a vacuum for some cycles, but I hadn't told you yet. So, we're done here. You can see I've got a nice vacuum layer between the magma biome and the rest of the uh, the world. Except for this, where my entrance is. So, progress. Let me get back to digging, and I'll see you when I'm done doing this stuff. And that's it. That's it. Except for a few little spots here and there. It's all, all gone. <clears throat> Except for this bit. But, let me zoom out. And there you go. It's all empty. This took me such an incredibly long time to do. Uh, the water here is gone. I'm already pumping this polluted water into the tank. As you can see, it's filling up quite nicely, even though my thimble reeds have been drinking all the polluted water. Uh, I have a little bit of salt water here, a couple of pockets I need to clean up. There's one there, a little bit of water there. Um, I've started to cap off all the volcanoes and the vents, sweeping them up and capping them. Um, <clears throat> there's a volcano here. Just one. Only one volcano on the entire map. So, uh, let's see. We've got the hydrogen vent here that's closed. Here's another uh, gold volcano. Let's close that. It's been swept clean. Got another cool salt slush geyser over there. 
Here's another gold volcano. I still have the hydrogen vent over here to do and the steam vent. There's so much stuff here. This is all capped. So. Yeah, that was a lot of work. I still have a lot of work to do. This is all, this needs to be swept and cleaned, of course. Um, I'm gonna have to open this up. I have a plan. I think I know which one this is. And I kinda like the old remnants that are on the map, like this. So I'm looking into a way of kind of preserving them. You know, it's a nice feature. It'll have to be done next time. This water is almost, yeah, almost gone. It'll take a few more cycles. So it's going to be a whole lot of cleaning and sweeping and done. Um, but I'm not going to record all that. Um, <clears throat> the next project will have to be, I think, something to do with uh, making petroleum for the petroleum rockets. I could also do something with the gold volcanoes. But, let's see, I have... 188 tons of gold amalgam. So I can make... I can make gold, refined gold in my metal refinery, no problem. <clears throat> And the reason I need that is for the oxalate refinery. That takes um, three three thousand milligrams. That's three grams per second. That's not a whole lot. That's that's very little gold I need to do for that so I can do something with the gold volcanoes but I don't need to do that uh, to get the oxalide I need for the rocket so that's just something I'm gonna think about <clears throat> but next project is me thinking about uh, petroleum I'm thinking somewhere in this corner I might do it because I've got the water here I've got these two Oil reservoirs, and I've got the cooling loop, like I said. So, that's my plan. Uh, who's stressed? Lynn's allergic reaction. Yeah, slime lung. There is still a little bit of slime lung that escaped. Not a lot. Most of this is oxygen. Except for this. I'm trying to clean it up, but... gonna have to make sure these deodorizers keep working maybe I should put in a couple extra ones but we should be fine should be a problem so let's zoom out once more let me see all this look at all this work I've done it's crazy An insane amount of digging anyway I'm gonna slow it down here let's take a good look of my hard-working dupes. Uh, that's uh, more than enough fun for one day. Thank you for watching. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you next time.